Serena and Alexis bring their second daughter, Adira, into the world as they shared the video on TikTok. It was a blessing to see the 41-year-old tennis icon share this moment with the world, considering the complications that she had in her pregnancy the first time around. During research for this video, there was a couple of things I noticed. And we'll talk about that later on in the video. But one thing that I noticed is their family is intact. Now, before anybody come for me, because I understand some of my viewers have adult children. Some of you have blended families. Some of you are single parents. So I understand the demographic is between 35 to 44. This video in particular, though, I would like to gear this towards those who are like 18 to 25 because you have this opportunity possibly that you don't have any children now and that you're learning life. You're living a little bit right now. You, you, you're you trying to find yourself and you want to know what you like and your dislikes and what you plan on doing with your future. So this video I made really for you and mine as I did the research on Serena and Alexis and her family. I want to talk about some of the benefits of having an intact family. All right. As I was doing research, research shows that family intactness has a beneficial influence on reducing increasing high school college rates and even having long term benefits such as a higher employment rate. So that's the benefit or some of the benefits from having an intact family. Now, I know a lot of people have blended families as well, because we could talk about two parent households and the benefits of having two parent households. I am a strong believer in that, but sometimes that could be a blended family. And there are some issues that come into play when it comes to blended families all the time you're you're raising someone who is not your biological child and sometimes even in 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 relationships that can cause higher rates of abuse as you could do some research and find out for yourself so but i don't want to discourage anybody with blended families but i'm just saying that there are some dangers to blended families and that there are some benefits to intact families i mean think about it none of us grow up and say hey, I want to grow up and raise somebody else's kid. We don't think like that. We think about having an intact family. And I know times have changed, but a lot of times the idea is to have all your kids by the same woman or by the same man, um, in particular marriage. Now, there's three things that I want to share with you that I looked at Serena and Alexis marriage and there's three things that's really that really stood out to me that I want to share with you that maybe we can even kind of take a page out of their book and see how they made it work for their family. I'm not saying that their marriage is perfect. I know every marriage has its struggles, but I want to share with you three things that stood out. The first one was Serena and Alexis, they were intentional about their vision. Even before they were together, even before they were a couple, he he was the co-founder of Reddit. I believe he's worth $70 million now, I believe, something to that effect. And I mean, she's Serena, right? Like she's the greatest tennis player of all time. So they were making things happen in their personal lives. And of course, you can define success how you want to, but they were very successful in their uh in their career and their expertise. And I believe a lot of that came from them not having any children and they were able to focus on their career and be able to make an impact because they had the dedicated time. Many of us who have kids and we have a purpose and, and vision, it kind of takes away from our purpose and vision because we have to provide for our kids. So sometimes our process can take longer because our attention is in two different areas. So the first one is they were intentional about their vision. So to my younger people who's watching this, be intentional about your vision. Know 
where you want to go in, in life. I believe a lot of times if our parents help bring us up to develop our gifts and talents, that while we're young, we can work on those while we're young. So by the time we're 19, 20, 21, we have become elite in whatever that gift that God has put in us. One time I was watching, I heard a guy say on an interview that kids who know what they are called to do, they're less likely to get in trouble. They're less likely to follow the bad crowd because they understand that they have a purpose and a mission. And there are some things that they just can't afford to do because there's a lot at risk. But it's those who are lost. And I'm saying maybe teenagers, you know, at that age, maybe 15 and older. They understand that I have a mission to feel and they're not going to get caught up with what everyone else is doing. I know there's a lot of peer pressure that comes with that. But at the same time, those who have people in their corner that can help lead and guide them, they can help keep them out of trouble uh, when it comes to peer pressure and having that community of people to help support and protect you. So I do believe if we develop our kids in such a way to where they know where they want to go in life, they can get there faster because they learned at a younger age. The second thing we can learn from Serena and Alexis' marriage is they actually got married. Now, I know this might sound strange, but a lot of times, and especially in today's culture, a lot of times people have kids and marriage isn't really on the brain. They they just have kids. And that's the our culture today. So that's why I said that they actually marry. Now, I don't know the backstory behind this as far as the details, because I don't know if Richard was willing to lay hands on Alexis because, you know, they weren't married yet and she was pregnant. I don't know. You know, Richard is old school. I don't know if 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 he was ready to pull a gun on him or what, have a shotgun wedding. I have no idea. But, you know, Richard go way back. Richard, Richard don't play. I don't know. But they actually followed through and got married and have that intact family. And I love it because they got married and it wasn't like they had a child together and Serena was just a single parent and, you know, Alexis was kind of taking care of his kid from afar. So I just like the beauty that they actually got married and she didn't turn into a single mom. And again, no shade to single moms. I come from a single parent household. I'm pretty sure half of you come from a single household, single parent household too. So there's no shade. All I'm saying is that there's beauty and having that intact family and actually marrying the person that you have a child with. Last but not least, <laughs> this one right here actually had me laughing when I was taking my notes is they don't blast each other on social media. We live in a day and age where, and I'm not going to say any names, but you could see videos of unhappy marriages on uh, TV shows that promote happy marriages or supposed to be promoting happy marriages. You have people that blast their significant other on social media about what they wore. I'm not saying any names. And we just kind of live in this culture. You didn't see Alexis tweeting why she got on those booty shorts playing tennis and, and, and put it out there on Twitter or X or put it on Instagram. He, he didn't. He, he doesn't do that. They too busy getting money and building their legacy. So to those who are in relationships, my advice would be whatever goes on behind closed doors between you and your spouse or your significant other, keep it there. It doesn't belong on social media. Now, I know for me, Sometimes I don't mind sharing some of my business on the podcast or on the YouTube channel because I believe there are some things that I will tell to help other people and let people see my transparency. But for the most part, don't share nothing on social media that's going to make your significant other look at you sideways or it's going to cause a big argument by, by the time they see this post on social media and had no idea what was going on. It isn't worth it just to get somebody to on social media to agree with you about the way you feel. 
they don't care about you anyway. All they doing is like the one meme where the guy, he gets the popcorn and he's just kind of sitting back because he's enjoying the show about you putting your spouse and your significant, significant other on blast. That's how most people are on social media. They just looking for a good time. They're looking for something to talk about. So those three things, I believe we can learn from Serena and Alexis marriage is they were intentional about their vision. They actually got married. And they didn't blast each other on social media or they don't blast each other on social media. Hey, I'm happy for them. I hope that their marriage stand the test of time and that they will continue to raise their kids and continue to do great things. Hey, thanks again for watching another segment of A Scary to Remarry. I have so much more amazing content and some phenomenal guests as well. People who've been through a divorce, people who remarried, people who desire to marry. So much great content. So make sure that you hit one of these videos. It's somewhere around here. But anyway, go watch another video.